Hey, it's James Hibbard with Entertainment Weekly here at our hideout at the uh, Hard Rock Hotel at uh, Comic-Con San Diego. Here with the cast and directors of the Penguins of Madagascar. Welcome, guys. Thank you. Hello. Thanks for having us. You know, obviously you probably don't need have didn't really need to see the show to watch the film. It's like you can just stand it's a standalone, you just dive in and enjoy it, correct? Well actually it's built on the timeline of the movies. But oh, really? they're, they're parallel universes. So there's okay. the Penguins of Madagascar in the three movies and then right. there's the T V show and we're we're staying fast on the the three movies and so uh, Penguins of Madagascar takes literally after just after Madagascar three is finished. Oh, okay. Okay. And uh, and uh, you play uh, Agent Classified. I do. Yeah, which is an awesome name. It's a very good and uh, and w what can you tell us about your character? He's a wolf. Uh, he's a highly trained wolf who's mm. the head of uh, an elite task force called the North Wind, mm. um, and their task is to protect animal welfare wherever it's under threat in the world. Uh, Tom, you're on the series version as well, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah so so what, what was different about working on this versus the uh, the, the show? Well, I, I would, uh, you know, the show is, it, it's in a surreal timeline. It's great to pick up where the movie's left off. I think just having the uh, chance to do a movie where you dive deeper into the characters and bring, mm -hmm. and having uh, Benedict and John, and I gotta say, you know, actors who are great at drama are also great at comedy. And I think mm -hmm. in this movie, it's great to see John and Benedict flex their muscles in comedy. And I think in their characters, they bring them to life you know, through the skills, their comedic skills, and, and, and that's a gift. And it, so it's a real treat to be able to work, even though we never work in the same room with John and Benedict, it's just a thrill, and it, and it puts the level of the Penguins and their movie mm -hmm. on an epic kind of world, international scale. Yeah, that was my next question. I was wondering if you guys have ever actually met before this, or it was all done completely separate. Benedict and I just yesterday. Yeah, well, first time yesterday. And, 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 and how'd that meeting go? It was good. I asked, I, you know, I asked him what it was like to play an evil octopus. I think yeah. that was one of my first questions that I had to ask him. And it's not really the conversation I imagined having with the great John Markovich, but it was, it was fun. No, it was, it was fun. very good. Great. Yeah, and, and so you play the evil octopus, and, and so tell us a little about your character. Well, he's a, he's a scientist uh, in fits and starts called Dr. Octavius Bryan, who is an octopus, sometimes disguised as human, and sometimes it doesn't seem to really bother much about that. But, um, uh, and he feels his life was ruined when he was a young octopus at every zoo or sea world or aquarium by the arrival of penguins because they were fluffy and cute and, and uh, people mood and awed over them as they do at, at say, fireworks. So he had a real, has a real resentment of, of penguins and is none too fond of these four penguins either mm -hmm. and who don't even remember him mm -hmm. um, and so he wants to essentially get rid of them mutate them into a different and altogether ugly and uncute life form and that's <laughs> his mission gotcha